Welcome back to Shopify Store Owners. Managing your store includes keeping your contact information out of date. So let's show you how to change the email address associated with your Shopify account. So this is crucial not only for receiving important notifications, but also managing communication with the customers. So first of all, it's going to be really important to sign in. I'm going to leave the link down below in the description just in case you haven't claimed an actual huge deal of Shopify. So once you are in directly into Shopify, let's focus into the dashboard. Here into the dashboard, what I want to be doing here is to have the average Twitter owner access to update my account details. Once logged it in, let's go and navigate to the bottom left corner of your dashboard and click into settings. Now let's access your account settings. In the settings menu, let's click into users and permissions. So this section displays all the users who have access to your Shopify administrator, including the rows and the permissions. So here what you want to do is to update your email address. Now, to change your email address, locate your account in the list of your staff account. So as you can see, there is only one store owner. We can add more staff account, of course, not including different plans. So you can upgrade a plan in order to give access to your store and control what next to uh, each allow it to do. But what I can do is to use two things. The very first thing I want to do is to go for the store owner. Here into my store owner, I choose my name. And directly into my name, we can see the view account settings. We can see the details, the personal website, notification, point of sale, recent access to the store, applications, and so much more elements. So I'm going to go into the upper side and look out for view account settings. This one should be taking me here into the choose an account. In this case, I'm going to choose my account from, from the Gmail and review my security settings. In this case, I'm going to remind me next time. And now we are inside the general details. So if you wanted to update your email, let's focus into the right part that says update. Here, as you can see, we have this Google account and they needed to verify the account before changing my Shopify email. So get a sheet to verify using Google to continue and then re-authenticate. So I choose an account from the Google and then redirecting me back into Shopify. Now here, it's gonna be asking me, where is the actual new email? we wanted to get started and verify that we owned it. So this will affect 15 stores. If we wanted to change your email address for a single store, we can see how we can transfer the ownership. This is of course happening to all the stores, everything that appears into my account. So I choose a new email and I go for change the email. So here's the part which you wanted to enter the new email address into the provided space. So just make sure guys that you're using this regularly as if I will use it for all the communications, all the past research, likely need to verify the changes. So Shopify is going to be sending us a verification email to the new address to confirm it's active and accessed. If you're willing to transfer this into just one store directly into your account, let's focus into transfer the ownership. Or what you can do is to focus into settings, directly into settings, I'm going to focus into users and permissions. And here I'm going to focus into my actual store details. And here I'm going to focus into transfer the ownership. So this is going to be making the transfer of only the ownership of the Shopify store I'm currently using. In this case, just type the email, the first and the last name you're actually willing to get started. And lastly, enter the passcode to confirm. After you make this process, I'm going to hit into transfer the store ownership. After you have made this process, the new owner should accept the invitation, or in this case, yourself. So we go into the new email, accept your invitation, and everything will be removed from the stored or current email you are using. So in order to sign in, you might be needing to use your new email account in order to continue. After you have made all of those process, then you're actually good to go. But I can totally suggest you to make sure that first of all, what you want to do is to sign out from the Shopify store and logged in once again, just to verify that all the process has been done correctly. So let's go back here into logged in. And here into logged in, I sign in with my new email account that I choose for the actual ownership or let's say for example, the access of the new store, the current store I'm actually using. And if you're able to log into the administrator pool of Shopify, you now have access to your Shopify store with the new email that you have provided with the actual Gmail. 
And well guys, there you have it. You have successfully changed your email address into Shopify. So remember it's important to keep your contact details updated to ensure you don't miss out any critical information about your store class. Now, if you find this tutorial helpful, please like, share and subscribe to more Shopify tips. Guys, thank you so much for watching the video to Express. Hopefully we can all see you next time.